Good morning and welcome back to the Sunset Homestead. I have turkeys in my way. Good morning, turkeys. You got food and water? Hmm? You got water, you got food, awesome. God, you guys are getting so big. They're as big as the waterer now. A little bigger. <laughs> awesome. I love the noises that the guineas make. I think it's super musical. That's that's a good word for it. They're super musical. I love it. <laughs> so are the goats. I think our whole farm here is very, very musical. That's my life. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> All right, everyone. I, I'm not sure what day it was. I think it was yesterday that I showed you that Eric was working on nesting boxes. They're up. And there was just chickens in them. However, I walked in and then the chickens came down, so. And you can tell, cause there's scat in there. But yeah, we have nice little nesting boxes. So that's awesome. Good morning, girl. How are you today, my dear? Yeah. yeah, I know. He did work in a little grain trough over here somewhere. I am not sure how high to make it because I don't know how big these guys are going to get. And I'm not sure how wide to make it. I don't know if it's one of those things where, damn, wider is better. I just, I'm not sure. But everybody is getting to be about the same size, which is crazy. Ooh. That got her right in the eye, I do believe. They were dehorned. She was dehorned. She was dehorned. They're growing anyway. I <laughs> don't get it. Sausage has a bit of an attitude problem today. I think she's on her period. She grumpy. Hi, bro, sweetheart. You're just never grumpy, huh? No? It's already getting warm. It started out kind of chilly this morning. I I'd rather it just stay chilly. I like that. The pigs enjoy not having the goats right next door, waking them up super early in the morning. I do believe. <clears throat> and starting this weekend, I think we're gonna have them gridded out into pastures. Good morning, bacon. Hi, buddy. Good morning. I don't have anything. I don't have anything interesting. Sorry. <clears throat> have you even eaten anything out of there? Really? Hmm. Okay. So, something happened yesterday that I didn't... I knew it was in the works. I didn't realize that it was going to happen yesterday. And it happened after I left. But our pastures looked like this. Very tall, lots of grassy stuff going on. More grass than this. This has a lot of the, like the chicory and the clover and stuff going on. 
um, the, the pastures were more grassy, which is fine. Well, yesterday, a local farmer came out. Um, he has a, a cow operation of some sort. I'm not sure if he does beef or he does dairy, but he was looking to get some hay. Move, move into the shade. It's a little warm. Um, the farmer was gonna come out, he's gonna cut it, he's gonna ba uh, merge it, bale it, uh, and do all of those things. He's gonna leave us enough to feed our animals. And then he's gonna take the rest as payment for cutting it, which is great. It needed to be cut, and the prospect of cutting probably six-ish acres, maybe five. Let's go conservative. We'll say five acres of hay with a weed whip. Sounds horrendous. No thank you. Um, so we were more than happy. Yes, you can have hay as long as we have enough to feed our animals. That's great. Uh, prevents us from having to go to the feed store and buy compressed bales of hay because I don't know anybody who sells hay around here. Um, and I don't know if you've ever had to buy hay. This $20 bale at the feed store, it's ridiculous. So now we don't have to do that. That's awesome. Very awesome. Um, so yeah, we have pastures that we can see. Some of it was, was taller than me. I'm five foot six. I am, I'm not short, but you know, some of the stuff was like way over my head. It's good to see it cut for sure. Now, somebody needs to take a weed whip around the edge and knock down the stuff. Okay, I just decided to walk through my garden and I found something that needs to go. What are these? What are those little caterpillar -y guys? I don't know what they are. I'm gonna go find a jar. I'm gonna pick them all off and then I am going to make a, uh, essential oil garden spray and see if it works. But I don't wanna lose all my vegetables to whatever kind of brassica eating caterpillars those are oh hey I found a bucket that'll work Gross. I hope these aren't poisonous because I've been touching them with my hands okay I believe I got them all but my goodness did they do some damage I mean this this leaf was like the size of this one it's almost completely gone there's a giant hole in that one giant hole in that one I hope I got them all up oops mm, don't do that <sighs> my goodness now watch when I'm editing the video I will find where I missed some there's another leaf just about completely gone I don't know Somebody let me know, what what are these? They're, obviously they're not beneficial. We're gonna try this stuff. Hopefully, it works really well for my brassicas because it seems like the brassicas are the only thing that's really getting nailed right now. It says to spray the tops and the bottoms of the leaves. So, we did that. And all it is, is just water and lemongrass essential oil. That's it, that's all it is. I do not think that essential oils are the end all be all. I don't think that they can cure everything. However, I also believe that if you have something going on, you should always start with the least invasive or the least chemical laden
resolution first and work up to figure out how stringent you need to go or how hard you need to go with whatever. So we're gonna try that. We'll see how well it goes. If it goes great, wonderful. If not, well, we tried. Um, and we're trying not to use uh, what we typically would have, which would have been seven dust because seven dust also kills beneficial bugs and we don't want that. Are you ready for breakfast? Would you like to tell the vlog goodbye? Say, thanks for watching. Nope, you're not even gonna bark, are you? All right, that's fine. I'd like to thank y'all for sticking around with me today. I hope y'all have a very blessed day and I will see you in tomorrow's video.